Hey folks, this is Shane from Performance EV. Welcome to our latest video. So after looking into the inverter in some depth in the last one, today we're going to go on a bit of a scavenger hunt. Uh, we need to bring a bunch of parts together so we can actually start to play around and test this inverter. Um, but in order to do that we need to be able to connect to it, we need to be able to wire power to it. So we're going to try and reuse some components from the leaf drive unit from other parts of it to um, just pull all that together. So join us as we uh, see what we can find. So what I'm going to actually do for the moment is take out these two contactors here. Uh, so they're 400 volts Omron units and should actually be suitable to use as the for connecting the battery moving power from the battery to the um, inverter rather than here where they're used as part of the DC fast charging system. So we're just going to quickly remove these and then I'll button this up again. two high voltage relays out. Nice big gap where they used to be. So we're just going to finish doing up the screws here and then we'll close this up and put it aside again. I was pretty lucky that the drive unit I managed to get my hands on actually came with both the power and the communication looms. So this is the kind of main loom for carrying signal messages uh, around the drive unit. I'm going to strip it back, take off a lot of the conduit and try and minimize it down to just the wires that are involved in communication with the inverter. So that's really the CAN messages going into the inverter, the uh, messages back to the encoder and the motor, and things like that. So we're gonna start at the um, inverter connector, uh, work our way back and see what we can get our hands on. Alright, first step of the process complete, we've got conduit off, we've got a mess of wires, but at least now we can see where things are going. We've got the connector that goes directly into the inverter. From that, we've got the connector that goes into the resolver on the motor for the um, position of the motor. We've got some CAN wire, so CAN high, CAN low. And then we also have some additional signal wires going into the connector 
that connects to the vehicle control module. So I'm going to undo a few a few more things here. Basically, just cut the can wires, um, and I'll wire them up to a can control a separate can controller. And then I'm going to remove the pins for the relevant wires on this connector and take them out. And we'll find some other way to connect them up to something. We have our inverter loom detached now, so all the necessary wires to communicate with the inverter in one little bundle, which we'll put aside for now. These wires we're going to leave as is. We'll come back to them as we start to use some of the other components. So we'll put them to one side for now. That's the signal side of things sorted. We've got the connector, various wires coming off it. Um, we will create for various inputs, be they you know, relatively low voltage, 5 to 12 volts that the logic boards need, um, as well as some CAN messages to try and control the inverter and, where necessary, connect it back to the motor to get the information from the resolver. But then we also need to get power to the inverter. We're going to start off with some relatively lower voltage uh, amounts, so we're not going to start straight off with the 380 volts that the LEAF works at. So we should be able to use the two high voltage relays that we've scavenged from the power delivery module, along with some components that I've bought, a wire wound resistor and a uh, relay to create a pre-charged circuit. So we'll be connecting the battery to the inverter via these two high voltage relays, using them in the same way you would a contactor. Um, I won't be using them in the final car, they, don't, they can't take sufficiently high voltage or current, but for the initial testing they are more than capable. And then we'll have a pre-charged circuit to get the capacitor up to voltage before we close these two contactors. So thanks for joining us on our little scavenger hunt. I hope you enjoyed seeing where we got the components for that we're going to use to hook up the inverter and start testing it. Next time we're going to go into a little bit more detail on building out the power connections and the pre-charged circuitry. Uh, so join us for that. If you like this, please like, share, subscribe, and um, yeah, see you next time.